freeform in surfaces is about control points and curves. By using these control points and curves, we can easily adjust and control the shape of our geometry. There are many options in freeform and they are very useful and helpful. So let's begin. Open a part file guys and change the background to plain white. Then click on top plane and click on sketch. And then select the midpoint line from here and make a midpoint line here. This should be inclined. Then select this line and make it as horizontal. And then let me show you how to enable the surface tab. From here we can enable it. And then simply select the extruded surface from here. And since the yellow colored material is on the one side, we can adjust it on both sides from the mid plane. Now extrude it up to 100 millimeter and here is our surface. This is the option for free form. If we select it and here we need to select a face. So I'm selecting this face. And let me show you about these continuity options. There are four options here and this is the option for movable if we select it and click on this edge this allows us to control the surface by using these two arrows we can either move in x y or z axis from there and in order to accurately control we can specify these lengths as well check this box from here and here is our surface now let's modify it further right click here and go to edit feature this is the option for constant let's change it to tangent and as soon as i select it tangent this surface becomes tangent now check this box from here and right click and edit feature change this to movable select this edge and we can modify this surface by moving this arrow in either x y or z direction then check this box from here and here is our modified surface so that's how we can control by the arrows and now let me show you here one more option just select this surface from here and here is our direction one option if we select this then a gray colored plane automatically appears and if we select here add curve and here you can see the green colored curve if we place it here and you can see the other curve auto automatically moves on the other side that is actually mirrored and that is the benefit of direction one and from here you can add the points on the curve and by using these control points you can basically control the surface by moving this up and down or either x y and z direction and automatically the other side of the surface is automatically changing so this is actually the benefit of uh, choosing the direction one and here is our surface and now uh, let me show you if you can do it uh, without choosing any direction so let's select this face from here this is our direction one if we select direction two it is actually this one so i'm unchecking direction one and direction two and i'm going to add curves and control points without any direction so here is the option for the add curve and if we want to flip the direction then we can flip it from here the curve will be uh, added in other direction and this is the option for control points so i can add as many control points as i like so i've added three control points and press escape button and then move it in any axis x y or z as per our requirement check this box from here and these are added without any direction now let me show you how you can choose the user defined option so this is actually the user defined option for the control 
and click OK from here and now you can see this mesh like uh, surface can be make at any angle by moving this and now if I can add if I want to add the curve it can be added at any specific any specified angle we like we can add control points on them and we can control the surface by moving these control points like this so this is up to us how we want to control the surface at any specified angle we can control precisely by specifying the digits from here x y and z direction check this box from here and now let me show you another option that is very useful that is global option select a free form and this is the option for the global by the way you can select any of these options all of these have their specific uses but global option allows even distribution so if i can add this uh, curve from here let me add a curve here and let's add some control points uh, on these curve check this box from here and now let me modify it let me just make it so this actually works evenly if we use the global option which allows better control on surfaces and we can uh, modify the surface by using these arrows as well so there are many options uh, available in the free form you can use them to control the surfaces and if you find this video helpful guys then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching